Welcome to Grandma Daughter's Kitchen. I got a good one for you today. I'm going to do pork neck bones. All right. And I'm going to use a black eyed peas, fresh black eyed peas. This is Grandma Daughter's marvelous budget stretcher. Okay. Now, in Mississippi, we used to get the uh, 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 dry peas and we used to soak them. The, in, in um, overnight or you know five or six hours in water uh, but now you don't have to do that you can get the fresh southern style black eyed peas and these these are nice and fresh and you don't have to soak them and you don't have to cook them as long so um, and these are only one dollar each one dollar pack okay so what I did was I got the nice cuts of see neck bones meaty nice meaty neck bones that's what you want okay look at the neck bones before you buy them so that make sure that they nice and meaty or buy them from a place that you know that carry nice and meaty meat okay all right so you see I got nice meaty pieces and this is enough for four in the family okay now the way I you know I like to marinate my food first so I put a little bit of salt, not that much. And then I put uh, seasoned salt. I put um, Tony Saturn because you know I always use Tony Saturn. And I, I use some meat tenderizer just in case. You can't go wrong. And then I use some red pepper to kick it up a notch. About a teaspoon of each. And then I used um, garlic and parsley salt. And then I use garlic pepper salt, okay? That's why I only used a half a teaspoon of salt. I didn't use a lot, okay? Now, you're gonna need, you're gonna need your, um, for four in the family, I got two bags. Two bags of black eyed peas. These are fresh. And I got a small onion, okay? Cut up. And then I got, um, six cups of water okay now I'm going to use crushed this crushed garlic if I didn't have crushed garlic I would use whole garlic but since I have this I'm going to use just some of this about a teaspoonful and put it in here okay and I'm going to put the onions in here the cut up onions okay and then I'm going to put the water in okay now I'm going to see you want the water to cover your meat. So if you don't have as much meat as I have, you can, um, you know, but just make sure it, see how it covers, make sure it covers the meat. You know what I mean? And that's what, that's how you know that you got enough. And we're going to cook this on uh, medium heat for 30 minutes. And then we're going to turn it down on low for an hour and a half. We're going to cook it for two hours first. And then after we cook it for two hours, because we want them nice and tender, okay? And after we cook them for two hours, we're going to add the black eyed peas, okay? And the black eyed peas, since they are already frozen and, 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 and fresh, you don't have to cook them as long, okay? You can cook them by, as the direction on the, on the package says right here. But I'm going to cook ours for 30 minutes after. So this is two and a half hours going to take to cook this. After I cook, get my meat all tender and nice and juicy, I'm going to add the black eyed peas the last 30 minutes. And then I'll be back and I'll show you the finished product. Welcome back. Now you see the meat, see how it's falling off the bone? It's almost falling off the bone. So it's ready. It's been an hour and a half. It's ready for us. See, this one here is falling off the bone, so we got to be, this is what it's supposed to look like. All right. Nice. So what we're going to do is open up the beans and put the beans in. And see, I got it on low. And we're going to keep it on low. All right. Okay, 
So are we going to let this cook another 30 minutes because we want the, the beans to get done, okay? The peas, this is, this is black eyed peas, okay? All right, fresh, fresh black eyed peas, you know? So we're gonna let it cook for another 30 minutes and then we're going to be ready to eat. I'll be back and I'll show you what it looks like. Welcome back. Now this is the finished product. Now remember when you're cooking your beans, keep a lid on, okay? Don't take the lid off. Keep the lid on, okay? All right. And I have some condiments here, which is hot sauce, because a lot of people like hot sauce on the on their greens and, and peas and beans. And then this is jalapeno pepper. And these are some sliced tomatoes, if you like. And then I got two little um, salt and pepper, if they want to put a little salt uh, on the tomatoes. But, um, now, you see? See how they look? It's time for my taste test. Okay? All right. See the meat, how it's nice and and remember this is Do Grandma Dotha's marvelous budget stretcher but you know pork is very expensive. It's not cheap. So um, it was uh, the package for four in a family was seven dollars and five cents. Now that's expensive because I can get chicken far cheaper than that. Okay? And then of course the, uh, the onions, you put an onion in it, and the onions was uh, three pounds for 99 cents. So uh, one onion, small onion, well medium, it was a medium sized onion, uh, you could get four for, the, for 3 dollars You can get four, four or five, four or five onions, depends on the size, so it's very, very economical. And then, of course, you probably have hot sauce in your refrigerator or in your cab, in your cupboard. And then the jalapeno pe peppers you probably have because she, these these last a long time. But if not, you just go get them for how much? Say about a dollar. The, and the, and this, I got um, three pounds of because I got some more of these in the refrigerator. Three pounds of tomatoes for ninety nine cents. So there's no excuse for you to not cook at home because it's economical. It's cheap. Now the meat, meat wasn't cheap, I grant you, but the rest of the stuff was cheap. Oh, the, um, the um, peas, 99 cents a, ba uh, a bag, okay? One dollar. Very good. Very tasty. And I'm going to try me a, um, I like tomatoes. Fresh tomatoes, slice. It's so good. Now see the meat. How it's fork tender. Okay. The seasoning is so good. And you can eat whatever you like with it. It's very good. Very good. See? The meat is fork tender. So good. I wish you were here to share, share it with me. It's so good. Happy eating to you!